Okay, yesterday using the 20 practical, I used one adapter. I think this is a 9 16th 18 thread. Today, I'm going to be using no adapter at all. It fits right on the 1022. It comes apart really easy. You've got the whole thing out with the baffle. It is reasonably dirty. I clean it up after I get back from a trip real well. You got the part that fits on the muzzle. This part fits to the rifle. And that's how it goes back together and fits on it. Now, we're going to grease it up some. I dropped it. And I keep a pretty good layer of grease. I've looked on the internet and people have everything from no cleaning whatsoever to they clean it every 30 rounds or so. I felt uh, after I get back from a trip is when I clean it. We pull it apart, you got the baffles, you got the tube. Makes no difference which end the tube fits on. This is just the part that hangs it all together. As far as greasing, now this is what I do. Some people I tell you it's wrong, some people tell you it's right. I put grease up and down, around the top and the bottom, or top and bottom, whichever you want to talk about. This is high temperature grease. It gets messy. Go through a lot of rags. Put it back together, spinning it. And what you're spinning for is to get that grease covered all over the outside and the inside of the tube. It's messy. There's no way of getting around it. Clean it up. Now we got the muzzle end back on. Got to clean a little of the dirt off that I just got dropping it. Very good. No dirt. I'm going to put back on the threads more of my high temperature grease. I like to take it back and forth a couple times to keep the grease going good, get the outside going good. I don't need the adapter that I needed for the 20 practical. I set that back. Clean it up. It's 1022 I put together the first part of the year. I put grease on the threads here too. I'm sure there's going to be somebody that's going to say, oh, that's not needed. It makes me feel better. Shooting a suppressor surprised me. I was shooting ground squirrels the first part of last month. Ground squirrels weren't paying that much attention to me shooting suppressor as my friend on the other side of the truck, every time he shot, they'd look up. I was able to shoot six or eight in one, one shooting and they never paid that much attention to me. Got it cleaned up real well. You snug it up. You got good grease on it. I would check it, oh, ever 40, 50 rounds. I undo it. I actually come up, unscrew it, unscrew it, 
unscrew it. I've got the baffle loose, I've got the part that fits to my rifle, and I've got the muzzle loose. Now I just, I don't get a hold of them and crank. I just do it nice and easily. And then I check it every once in a while. Then you're back to shooting. Today I'm going to be shooting a little 10-22. There's almost no wind out here today. Hope you guys have fun. I'm going to shoot some prairie dogs.